Hi, I'm James from Camsys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Magic Cube console to Camsys Free Magic Viz Visualizer. The process is exactly the same on all Magic Cube consoles. I've got myself an MQ70 console here and a Windows laptop. Magic Cube software is compatible on Windows, Mac, or Linux, doesn't matter what system you've got, and the visualizer is included with a standard Magic Cube download. You don't need to download any of the other programs. So I've already got at this point Magic Q installed on my laptop. I've got my console out. I'm going to take a regular bit of Cat5 cable. I'm going to connect it to a network port on the back of my MQ70 console here. Uh, the MQ70 console network ports are all on an Ethernet switch. All ports have the same function. It doesn't matter which port I connect to. And I'm now going to connect the other end of my cable to my laptop network interface. So I've now connected the two together. First off, I'm going to set an IP address on my console. Both devices, my laptop and console, need to be in the same IP address scheme. So I'm going to go to Setup, View Settings, Network on my console. And I'm going to check my IP address at the top here. We're only interested in the top two boxes in this screen, the IP address and subnet mask. I'm going to set my console to have a 2.IP address. I'm going to change this to 2.0.0. 10. Subnet mask 255.0.0.0, a slash 8 subnet. Now I'm going to jump over to my laptop. We're going to go down, click on the start bar. We're going to go to control panel. So we just typed in control panel in the search box there. We go to network and internet, network and sharing center, and we find our ethernet connection here. I am also connected via Wi-Fi to another network, we're not bothered about that, we're connected via network here, by, by a, a physical cable. So I go and click on Ethernet here, and I hit Properties. Why am I doing this? Well, Magic Q consoles don't feature a DHCP server, so we need to set a static IP address on my laptop. So I've gone to Properties, I now select Internet Protocol version 4, and again hit Properties here. You can see the default option is Obtain IP Address Automatically. We're going to set a static IP address, and it needs to be in the same range as the console. So I've set a 2.IP on this console with my slash 8 subnet. So my IP address I'm going to enter needs to be 2. Dot on the laptop as well, but it needs to be different. It can't be the same IP address. That would create a clash. So I'm going to say 2.0.0.5. So dot .5 ending on the laptop, dot .10 on the console, but both starting with 2. Dot. They also need to be on the same subnet mask, so 255.0.0.0, that same slash 8 subnet. I hit OK, hit Close, and Close over here, and I can close Control Panel. Before I start Magic Viz, back on the console, back in your setup window, View Settings, this time on the multi-console, you need to make sure the top two options here, Enable Remote Control and Enable Remote Access, are enabled. This enables the visualizer on the laptop to have permission to pull the show file and visualizer data from the console onto my laptop. I'm now going to run Magic Viz. I'm going to do it from the start menu. I've installed Magic Q and it comes with Magic Viz. So again, I can just search in here, Magic Viz. There's the application, run it. The Magic Viz window will now open and you can see at the top, it tells me straight away, I'm now synced to the MQ70 console with the IP address I'd set. 20010 of the console. If I maximize the window and go to File, Settings, and Network, we'll show you the IP address of your Ethernet adapter. If you have a computer with multiple network cards in, you can use the drop down here to select the network card that you want to connect to for this session or that you've connected your console to. It will also display any consoles it sees on the network. If you have multiple Magic Cube consoles, They'll be listed here as well, so you could choose a specific console to connect to. So now I'm connected, I should be able to run up a playback on my console like I've done here, and you can see my visualizer is clearly connected and the lights are responding. Now everything about the visualizer in terms of what fixtures are in there, how they're positioned, objects, is all driven from the console. It's all arranged still from my Magic U show file. So I have all my visualizer information and my show programming and patch all in the same show file. To manipulate fixtures in the visualizer, it's all done via the patch window, view viz, 
and through the various tabs here. So if I go to my group window, select my spots, go back to my patch view viz window, you can see they're highlighted in my visualizer and I can now use my encoders X, Y, and Z position to move those lights around in the visualizer or rotate them. You'll be able to see in some of our other tutorials how we go into more depth in setting up the visualizer. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions on how to connect your visualizer to a console, please contact us at support at campsys.co.uk.